Today we have very interesting theme. We will create a lace, but not from threads of fabrics, but drawn. The technique in which we will work is called imitation of lace Richelieu. And using it, we will decorate a glass plate, make it very elegant and decorative. We very much hope that our ideas will be useful to you, and you necessarily will use them at creation of your handmade masterpieces, with which you will decorate your home or will please the friends. Hello, my name is Natasha Fochtina, and I'm glad as always to welcome you in our studio. Today we have the most interesting lesson. I suggest you to work in the decoration technique, which is called imitation of a lace Richelieu. This kind of lace work has appeared in Renaissance in 14th century in Italy, and then was widely adopted in Central and the Western Europe. Such products with open work embroidery, in which the separate elements of a pattern joined cross pieces, so-called braids, were the nobility privilege. Especially Cardinal Richelieu loved this kind of the embroidery, by the name of which this kind of decorative art has received the name. Initially, there are three variants of an origin of this embroidery. According to one version, known to all of us, Cardinal of Louis VIII, Armand Jean Duplessis, the Duke de Richelieu liked to embroider, and the embroidery is named in his honor. According to another version, Richelieu preferred elegant clothes and ordered for himself lacy shirts which were embroidered in satin stitch and were stamped small breeds. Such embroidery was called subsequently as Richelieu. And under the latest version, Cardinal Richelieu has forbidden import to France the expensive laces from Italy and has ordered to organize their manufacturing at domestic factories. Since then, the French laces, which were embroidered in satin stitch and were made out by the loopy seam, which center was cut out, became known as Richelieu. So, to make here such wonderful decorative plate with insertion lace, we need to prepare following materials for work. Acrylic paint for glass, acrylic liners of white and pearl colors, and the picture which you need to transfer or print on a sheet of a paper. If you have all it, it's possible to begin to work. The first operation for you, I think, is already habitual. We take an alcoholic solution and unoil a glass plate from two sides. I notice that in this work both surfaces are necessary for us, as we will paint a lace directly on the plate, instead of as we have got used in a reverse decoupage from the back. Then you ask, what for we need the transparent plate? This is the whole secret. We use its transparency to transfer on it the picture. If your plate is ready to work, we take listening with a lacy pattern and put it to the back side of the plate, the picture downwards, and fix to it by means of a masking tape. Try to fix the pattern smoothly and strongly, as we will work with it long enough. Further, we turn the plate inside down and begin to picture, in other words, to fill with white acrylic paint the picture inside the counter. We leave a counter of details untouched. I suggest to work by means of a thin synthetic brush using paint for glass and ceramics. I notice that we work with opaque paint for glass instead of a stained glass technique. Such paints in the given variant don't approach us, though with them the work would look interesting, but then we should make it first a counter around the details of the picture and only after drying to fill them with stained glass paints. The drawing of the details is better to make into layers with intermediate drying, that the drawn lace will be thick. 
After the final drying of paint, you can, before passing to other operation, to correct the drawing if suddenly during painting have spoiled or have soiled something. We do it by means of a toothpick or any other sharp wooden stick. We simply rub off the dried up paint from glass. I notice that if you will rub off not dried up paint, you won't get nothing good except a dirty stain. The most interesting begins further. We take a volume liner for glass and ceramics of white color with pearl effect and with its help we pick in the contour around the drawing painted over by a white paint. Work with volume liners isn't the most simple and here you need some skill of drawing. But don't be afraid, after all we create not machine embroidery but hand, therefore here is possible some modest roughness of lines. If you can, with identical effort to press on a tube and at the same time to draw it, you can simply draw out lines and fragments. If you can't, you can make it here so, touching from the top to down with a tube as though putting points one closely to another. Very many masters learn to work with liners in such way. Then, when your hand will get used, you can draw without stopping work. I pay you attention that you need the pearl liner and a line which will drop do more thickly, about 0.3 cm, that it looks volume and contrast with white color of the main drawing. The liner drawing is a difficult thing and for want of habit your hand will quickly be tired. But I'm sure that you will cope with this problem. After all, the wonderful plate with amazing lacy decor waits for you. If you have drawn out all details a pearl liner, you can dry it and take a volume liner of white color and draw it an open work mesh between lace fragments. I hope that by this moment your hand will already get used to drawing by a tube and you will create with it help thin and smooth lines. I notice that here it would be desirable that they will be smooth, though I'm sure that you won't have any difficulties as we draw on the pattern and length of connecting lines. In other words, breeds, connecting the elements of our embroidery isn't so big. And to finish drawing, again, we take a volume pearl liner and will put volume points in places of crossing of the lines, connecting drawing of lace. And if you want, you can take again a simple white liner and to draw it points on white fragments of lace, which you have coated with a white paint. And if you don't want, can leave all as it is. In any variant, you will have very beautiful drawing similar to the real lace. Now you need to dry all well to finish work with the plate. If the drawn lace has dried up, remove the paper template from the plate back side and unoil it by an alcoholic solution to remove glue which could remain from masking tape and apply on it black paint for glass or a ground by means of a foam rubber piece by a tamping method in two layers with intermediate drying to have a thick background for a lacy decor. I notice that the background for a lace not necessarily should be black. Any dark paint will look with it wonderful, just as absolutely without a background. In other words, you can leave a lace on a transparent plate and it will look not less effectively. Here all depends on your taste and imagination and from what interior you make the thing. By the way, before you will watch the TV spot on making of this decorative plate, I pay you attention that you can finish work at any stage. For example, to make as it me a white plate with an insertion lace and can the black.
Now, when you have a little rest from tiresome drawing of a lacy decor, I offer you a very simple method of creation here such gift box. This is a decoupage technique, therefore we begin work with napkin cutting on three parts. The first detail is drawing for a cover. The second with roses will be the basis of the box and also we need the lacy border, which we also cut off from a napkin with scissors. Further, we need to take a cardboard box, which we have preliminarily painted a white ground. I pay you attention that it's not necessary to apply a lot of ground on a cardboard product, otherwise it can lose its form. The layer should be thin but thick. It's better to coat a thin with several layers than to spoil it. And to protect yourselves from troubles absolutely, to take a special ground for a cardboard. So, we take napkin fragments, separate from them the top layer with picture, and we begin to prepare the surface for decoration. In a variant with a cardboard box, unambiguously, I suggest to glue napkins by means of the hot iron. We do it so. We take white glue and apply it by means of a brush on the box. We try to glue evenly all surface and to dry it good. Further, we put a napkin and iron from the top. I'm sure that if you will be careful and won't burn yourself about the hot iron, you with ease will cope with such work. But at this stage it's not necessary to stop. You need to take again glue and to glue with it the napkin from the top that it will glue densely to the surface. We dry this decor, take a piece of foam rubber and white acrylic paint, and with its help we make out edges of the box, white haze, to freshen it and to hide defects which can happen during gluing. Having dried paint, you need only to underline and allocate the paper lace with which we have glued over the box, having made it more realistic. We take white acrylic liner and in the peak technique, in other words, here with such points, at first we decorate the cover around drawing and then we paint a lacy ornament. As a result, we have such wonderful box for a gift. By the way, if you don't like to work with volume liners or you are afraid that you won't paint a lace with them, you can glue to the box a lacy braid, real, it becomes more interesting from it. Though, for my taste, this drawn lace looks wonderful.
And it seems to me that today we have spent time with advantage, as we not only could create such wonderful decorative plate, decorated with Richelieu lace, but also decorated such box for a gift. It seems to me that I've considered all your interests and those who like to draw and those who prefer the decoupage technique. And I hope you necessarily will find in this program something new to yourselves. And once more, I'm sure that after this program you will have many bright ideas and you, for example, decide to combine the technique on imitation of Richelieu lace with the decoupage and will create something wonderful by your hands. Though, why you should use Richelieu in your work? There are many various styles and directions in which are made lacy products. Try, look, choose, and make beauty by your hands. On it, I say goodbye to you to new ideas. Today, with you, there was Natasha Fochtina. Good luck and goodbye.